Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I got an email on a problem that people are having with loading the groms. So let's attack that problem. If you open the RxD zip, oh come on here, open. There we go. The RxD zip for 2012, you're going to find the object files here. Basically, you're going to copy all of these into disk one. Uh, we're going to be using, uh, there's several ways to do this, but I, I want to attack the problem as quickly as possible. And you can do the same thing with RxB 2012. You just need the groms in the object file list with uh, the package here, the tools. Basically, you need the tools for that, which are these right here. And uh, you can attack the problem from both directions. In 2012 or 2012 XB or uh, REA. Anyways, the point being that uh, the files right here won't load in a regular TI. The reason why is because they're for a PC. Now, when you take that stuff from a TI and convert it over to a PC, you had a problem in the fact that you had a header. Let's go back to that header. So here we go. This is the header that you had right here. See that? 00042000606012344. Oh, 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 zero, zero, six, oh, six, oh. six. That's the TI header on a regular TI file. Also, there's an extension at the back of it when it gets into a PC called GRM, which means GROM. This is out of a PC99, which is the same things you see for a TI on how they work. Of course, the GROM is not there because the TI doesn't know what uh, extensions are. But the point is that PC99 does, and that's the reason why it does that. So they're, they're very compatible with each other back and forth. As you can see, the six extra bytes are right here at the end. Those six bytes are here, and the reason why is because of these six bytes right here. Now, the regular TI file doesn't need these headers right here inside the memory. So, when we go to Classic 99, what it has is a header file right here, which is saved by this program, CSAVE, onto the disk. This is the same program for the GDE for saving uh, GROM files. The reason why they don't have the GROM extension on the back of them is because it's being run from Classic 99. So the only difference between the two of them and that PC99 and a TI is, of course, the fact that it changes the, the header is the same. It looks the same way it's supposed to. But it's a TI file for the uh, Classic 99. You can use TI directory right here to take a look at the difference between the two of them. Of course, you can get your hands on that. So anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sector editor, and what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into this file and take out all of this down to there, that 04. You need these right here to look like this one. Now, mind you, we're only loading the GROMs. So in order to do this, once you get over the TI, you have to have the, the ROMs in the TI because I didn't include the, the ROMs in the package. You can add them if you want to, but you're going to have to renumber and stuff to put it back the way it was because honestly, at uh, in... Uh, if you take a look, whoops, I have to go back here, I'm sorry. I have to go to the other folder. Here we go. If you take a look at this, you're going to see that uh, on psych disk is RxB. And let's go to RxB 2001. And the GROM files are right here. These right here are the GROM files. These two right here are the ROM files. It loads the ROMs first, ROM1, ROM2, then it loads the GROM. Now, in RxB 2012, I only saved the GROMs because these are exactly the same in 2001. No difference. So you just need to install those to make sure it works, which is why I'm going to show you the next step I have here, which is to go to 2001. I've got that loaded. We'll go to the Editor Assembler. We're going to go 7 to the disk one because we've installed everything from disk one out of the zip like I said. Now you can assemble it from scratch but there's really no need for that since how we have this thing called the GPL loader. So if you're on a TI these files will look similar other than the fact that you're going to be loading the uh, you're going to be you're going to be converting these over to where they're GROM files for the TI. And I should get a sector editor you can do it on a TI uh, hex editor or sector editor, I should say. And then you can take these files right here and use them. But they have to be converted first before you transfer them over. A little harder to do on a regular TI. 
So do it on the PC99 side fi first, or use this one right here, which I don't know how to use it yet, which is a virtual disk manager. I don't know how to use it, so you got me. But there are tools available. So let's just do it this way. What we're going to do is we're going to use the GPL loader. We're going to go disk one, and we're going to load the object files up here that we copied, because these are the object version of this. These can also be converted over to TI files for the TI to use. Just take the header away, or uh, uh, not the header, but just convert them over so that they're regular TI files, or use the ground files, either way. But I just use the object files because it's easier. So it's uh, going to be ORXB3. Turn off your write protect on the gram device. And there you go, you've loaded one. Now you do that until you've done all the files, including the last one, disk one. I'm just doing this as a demo right now. It's not a runnable version. It takes too long on the video. I want to cut down the size of it. Once you exit, there you have 2012 loaded. I would, if I would have loaded the other, the rest of these one at a time, all of these. I didn't load these three, but you could have just gone down the line here loading all of them. Anyways. The point was that now you've loaded it, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to 3, and you go to 5, and it's going to be disk 1, C save. And you can save the GROMs and the ROMs by doing this. Uh, say disk 2, uh, and we're going to call it RXB. Then you're going to tell it the ROMs are going to be from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1 and 2 for the ROMs. And then sort the size is going to be long, and we're just going to hit enter on your regular TI with your disk there. It saved them. There you are. You have a copy of RXB 2012 on a disk. That's as easy as it gets. So uh, I was just trying to back up uh, some information so people know what they're doing here. Like I said, it, it's a little bit harder because you have to go from the PC side back to the TI side. And I don't really have any utilities except for maybe this one right here and this one, and plus the sector editor. Uh, I haven't done it on my TI because I packed it away and put it back in their attic, so I'm sorry I can't do that right now. But I'm supposed that uh, this is more information you need for what you're going to do. So we'll talk to you guys later.